I'm gonna make this announcement and just so everybody is aware that all candidates are invited to speak at this event. So it doesn't matter if they're Republican, independent or Democrat, they are all invited with me. I have transparency with females. So if anyone wants to see that, they're more than welcome to see that. But the ones that show up are the ones that get to speak. So with that being said, I've got next on the list is Delegate Mark Levine from Virginia. He holds uh, Alexandria and south of 23rd Street, if that's I'm right. not that's correct. Right. That's right. South of 23rd Street is his district. So Mark Levine. Good to see everyone here again. I am a proud gay Alexandrian and have been a proud gay Alexandrian for 20 years. I was an activist long before I was a politician and I'm still an activist. Um, I actually did my first gay rights protest in the 90s, I think it was. We marched on Hollywood before Will and Grace. Yes, I'm old too. Um, and uh, I was in the marriage equality movement starting in 1999, before Lambda got involved. So I've been at this a very long time. In fact, for those of you who are married in DC, I wrote DC's marriage equality law. So you're welcome. Um, but um, the question is, uh, what have we done lately? Which is a fair question. So I was first elected in 2015. And in my six years in office, every single year, the very first bill I introduced was a full gay rights bill. In other words, gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, everything. Uh, what, what it did is it took 60 plus laws in Virginia and it amended every single one of them to say that you can't discriminate on the basis of sexual orientation and gender identity. And I introduced it in 2016, Republicans killed it. 2017, Republicans killed it. 2018, killed 2019. Then we took power in 2020. And that bill is now Virginia law. And I'm very proud of it. So even though that's 60 some odd statutes and I tried to include everything, we're still not done. For one thing, we have to amend the Constitution. We have to amend the Constitution to have marriage equality. And the constitutional amendment that I wrote, that we passed this year, but has to pass again in 22, and then be voted on by the voters in 22, does more than just get rid of the horrible language currently in our Virginia Constitution that prohibits marriage equality. It affirmatively embraces marriage equality. It says that we can't take it away. It's in our Virginia Constitution. And I insisted on that language, and it is there, And uh, but we're not done yet. It's got to happen in 22, and then y'all got to vote for it in 22, so we're not done yes, yet. Take it Many, many other issues I've worked on. I've worked on a lot of issues apart from, I've worked on domestic violence, I've worked on, on gun regulation, a whole bunch of things. But when it comes to our rights, our LGBT rights, I have been there, I have always been there, I always will be there. Uh, and there's still, there's still battles we have left to fight. And that's why it is absolutely vital that we not lose Virginia. So um, I think I am telling you who to vote for, but that's okay. Um, I, I'm a proud Democrat. Look, people talk about Virginia as a blue state. It's not. We're an indigo state, is what I say. We're, 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 we're a bluish tinge of purple, all right? But that doesn't mean we can't go the other way. And as, as Senator Favola said, we have to fear complacency. There are a lot, there's only one good thing that I can tell that Donald Trump has ever done in his entire life, and that is he's energized Democrats all across this country. <laughs> That's the only good thing he's ever done. But, the, but, but it is a good thing, and he did do it. And that means that when I was elected in 2015, we had 34 Democrats out of 100 in the House of Delegates. Four years of Trump and we have 55. And that's the good news. But the bad news is the House of Delegates is on the ballot in 21. And there are a lot of Democrats that say, Joe Biden's president. I don't have to watch the news anymore. I don't have to look at my Twitter feed anymore. And some of them, not y'all, but some of your friends, some of your family members are going to say, and I don't have to vote. Well, that's wrong. And if we don't vote, if we're complacent, Virginia will turn back. And we do not want to turn back our rights. So please, I know everyone here is going to vote. But you got to tell your friends, you got to tell your neighbors, you got to tell your family, you can't sit this one out. We're going to need you in 2021. So please get out there and vote. Uh, and I think I indicated who to vote for, but I think that's good enough. Thank you. And, and by the way, Bruce, can we all give a big hand to Bruce? He works really, really hard. Imagine how hard this was, how hard this was during COVID to do what, what he's been doing. 
TJ, thank you for all the work you do. And then the biggest shout of all to Freddie and Johnny. Freddie is such a pillar of the community. I can't think of Northern Virginia and and Rainbow and not think of Freddie. I mean, the, 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 the intersection, I mean, he's the center of, of Northern Virginia, gay world, LGBT world, rainbow world. And I don't know how we'd ever do it without you, Freddie. Thank you for having, thank you, Freddie and Johnny, for having us at your home. Thank you for all you do and all you continue to do. One more for Freddie. Thank you. Thank you, Doug and Mark Levine.